If you're a woman who is at least five years past menopause, you may be prescribed calcitonin salmon aerosol, spray with pump to treat osteoporosis, also known as brittle bone disease. This medication works by slowing down bone loss, which helps to maintain strong bones and reduce the risk of fractures. It's important to note that this product has been withdrawn from the Canadian market due to safety issues. Be sure to follow your doctor's instructions carefully regarding the daily dosage and the best time to take this medication. Before starting to use calcitonin salmon aerosol spray, make sure to read the patient and product information sheets provided by your pharmacist. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask your doctor or pharmacist. This medication is meant to be used in the nose as directed, typically with one spray in one nostril each day, switching nostrils daily. It's important to use the lowest effective dosage for the shortest possible time to treat your condition. Long-term use of this medication may pose a rare risk of developing cancer, so it's crucial to discuss the benefits and risks with your doctor. When using a new bottle, take it out of the refrigerator and let it reach room temperature. Follow the instructions on how to prime the pump the first time you use a new bottle. Once the pump is primed, it doesn't need to be reprimed if the bottle is stored upright. If you have any questions, consult your pharmacist. To use the nasal spray, remove the protective cap, keep your head upright and insert the tip into a nostril. Press down firmly on the pump to deliver the medication, then replace the protective cap. The following day, use the other nostril. In order to get the most benefit from this medication, it's important to use it regularly and at the same time each day. Some common side effects of calcitonin salmon aerosol, spray with pump may include runny nose, nose bleeds, nasal irritation, dry nose with crusting, headache, dizziness, nausea, flushing of the face, or back pain. If any of these effects last or get worse, notify your doctor or pharmacist promptly. It's important to remember that this medication has been prescribed because your doctor has judged that the benefit to you is greater than the risk of side effects. Many people using this medication do not have serious side effects. Tell your doctor right away if you have any serious side effects, including nasal sores, muscle cramps slash spasms, numbness slash tingling of the arms slash legs. Get medical help right away if you have any very serious side effects, including seizures. A very serious allergic reaction to this drug is rare. However, get medical help right away if you notice any symptoms of a serious allergic reaction, including rash, itching slash swelling, especially of the face slash tongue slash throat, severe dizziness, trouble breathing. This is not a complete list of possible side effects. If you notice other effects not listed, contact your doctor or pharmacist for more information. Before using calcitonin salmon aerosol, spray with pump, make sure to inform your doctor or pharmacist about any allergies you may have, as this product may contain inactive ingredients that could cause allergic reactions. It is also important to discuss your medical history, especially if you have a low level of calcium in your blood. This medication is primarily used in women after menopause and is not typically used during pregnancy or breastfeeding. If you have any questions about the use of this product, it is best to consult with your doctor. As always, follow your doctor's instructions and dosage recommendations for the best results. It's important to note that calcitonin salmon aerosol, spray with pump may interact with other medications, which could potentially alter how they work or increase the risk of serious side effects. This is not an exhaustive list of all possible drug interactions, so it's crucial to keep a record of all the products you use, including prescription-slash-non-prescription drugs and herbal products, and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. Remember not to start, stop, or change the dosage of any medicines without your doctor's approval. One specific product that may interact with calcitonin salmon aerosol, spray with pump is lithium. If someone has taken too much of this medication and is experiencing severe symptoms like fainting or difficulty breathing, it's important to seek immediate medical help. In the U.S., you can call your local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222, while in Canada, you can reach out to a provincial poison control center. It's important not to share this medication with others. To help promote healthy bones, it's recommended to increase weight-bearing exercise, stop smoking, limit alcohol, and eat well-balanced meals containing adequate calcium and vitamin D. 
You may also need to take calcium and vitamin D supplements and make lifestyle changes, so it's best to consult your doctor for specific advice. While using this medication, it's important to have lab and or medical tests such as bone density tests and nasal exams. It's crucial to keep all medical and lab appointments and consult your doctor for more details. If you forget to take a dose, take it as soon as you remember. If it's almost time for your next dose, just skip the missed one and take your next dose at the usual time. Don't take double the dose to make up for the missed one. After opening and priming the pump, you can store the bottle at room temperature in an upright position, away from light and moisture. Make sure to discard any unused portion after the specified number of days or doses. If you are unsure when to discard your specific brand, consult your pharmacist. Remember to keep all medications away from children and pets. When it comes to discarding the product, do not flush it down the toilet or pour it into a drain unless instructed to do so. Instead, consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for proper disposal methods. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.